All right, so I was getting some Burger King and I just drove past this place. It's the world famous Clown Motel and it was only like 0.5 miles away from where I was staying. Actually, I might stay here one night. Goodbye, plain old hotel room. There it is in all its glory. Go ahead, book a room. I already did, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, what's a clown motel complete without a cemetery right next to it? A cemetery! I can't speak right, this is so freaky. Ooh, free money. Don't step on the rocks. Is it a good idea to come back here at night? I think it is. But for now, let's check into Clown Motel. It's not scary at all. Hi. How are you? I'm good. King. Mm -hmm. Yes, checking in. And then we did, So this occurrence is kind of funny. Hi, who are you? Uh, I play Golden Nature the Clown in Clown Motel. I'm also one of the co-executive producers. Check it out on Amazon right now. Yeah, check out the ones that already came out and then his new one that's coming out soon. <laughs> we are going to shoot a uh, second feature, um, Clown Motel 2, sometime in March. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, to the room. Got room 108 and I heard they had a special painting in there. Yep, there it is. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. So I found out that this was painted less than a week ago. Wonderful. <laughs> Smells like what a clown motel would smell like. I've seen horror movies. I know how this works. Here's the mirror where I will see the clown behind me. Here's the phone that will ring and there'll be a clown on the line. The door that will not open when I'm in danger. Here's the TV that will randomly turn on with creepy imagery. Here's where the bloody heads will be. And here's where I die most likely. Oh good, another mirror where I can see a clown that's directly behind me. Well, there's one already there. And this is gonna randomly swing in the middle of the night. And this is the sink where the blood comes out. I cannot wait to bathe in here. This won't be a bloody death for me. Oh yeah, and to top it off, I read somewhere online that they say room 108 is haunted. Imagine getting pulled over at Clown Motel. If the room is haunted, I've come prepared. Hmm, where to put this? All right. Perfect. Yeah, this is the only camera I own that can record continuously for who knows how long. My camera randomly shut off. It just like froze and the screen went black. I don't think I ever saw it do that before. Yeah, strange occurrences are happening already. My uh, vlog camera randomly shut off. The door's creaking because I didn't close it all the way. That's creepy. Stop it. <laughs> Feel like a ghost hunter. And this is how all horror movie starts, with a camera. Perfect! We are ready to watch Clown Motel to see if anything happens. And I gotta say, I don't believe in ghosts, so will this room prove me wrong? Are you gonna prove me wrong, room, huh? I don't believe in ghosts. Ugh, I messed up already. <laughs> I left my key in the room while I was getting some more stuff in. Yeah, I can't get back in. Ugh. <laughs> And yeah, I left my camera in the room too. Uh. Okay, I got let back into the room, but now I can't find the key. Awesome. Did I leave it in here? Uh. This stay at Clown Motel just keeps on getting better and better. Still can't find my key. Found it. It was on the ground. But was I the one who dropped it there? Hmm, maybe if I look at the footage. It's kind of nice to have this camera watching over me. Kind of makes me feel safe, like it's a guardian angel. 
or Big Brother. Hmm. Hmm. Imagine coming in when it's night, no lights on, and then you're too tired to care, so you just want to go to sleep, and then you wake up in the morning with this staring at you. I wonder if anyone's gonna jerk off to this. Imagine sex in general in this room. I wonder if that's happened before. Maybe. Is there the Bible when I need it? Yes, there is. Perfect. Ooh, no more safety of the daylight. <sighs> I don't know what else I can do in here now. The clown motel Wi-Fi is abysmal though. I can't even load the speed test page. They must not want you contacting help. Well, guess what? Data. My god, the data is abysmal too here. Mmm, why are you guys doing this, huh? Looks like the Wi-Fi is working now. Strange. That's weird. One bed is hard, and one bed is soft. I'm gonna face one of my biggest fears here. Taking a shower. Stepping out. I don't know what's behind this curtain. Oh, the door scared me. I don't know why the door scared me. <gasps> oh, didn't die. The shower probably would have been the worst place to die. Ooh, forgot some things. Gotta have all the lights on, just in case. I don't know if it makes it better or worse that I've seen both IT movies. Mmm, leftovers. Wouldn't the ghost in this room love to knock this over? Hmm? The sun is going down. I hope when Luigi's Mansion 3 comes out, there's gonna be a clown floor, so everyone will complain, Uh, oh, this game is too scary, why did they put this in? Man up, people! You don't know fear until you lived it. I'm starting to think this makes me look way too paranoid. <laughs> but still, I don't want to take it down. I love how in the cemetery brochure, they mention that it's near the clown motel. Voted the scariest motel in America. Yeah, I guarantee you whoever voted has never gone here before. We are about five hours in, and nothing big happened yet so far. Things are still pretty chill. Whoa, look what I found. Someone left their switch behind. Hmm, good thing I brought my own switch dock. Let's see what happens when I plug it in. Oh my god! Ah! 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 Really goes well with the room though. One, two, switch. Here we go. You wanna play? Huh? Huh? You wanna play? It seems like you'll be good at it. Come on. Here, go play with me. My god, you suck. Actually, try this time. Ah! Oh, oh. Wait, wait, what? $69. Ooh, it is now night time. I'm gonna rent the Clown Motel movies, and I'm gonna watch them, and I'm gonna review them in Clown Motel for the authenticity. Ugh, what do I even say about that? I randomly ran into the producer of the movie, we had a nice chat, so I don't want to be too harsh, but let's just say it's a good movie if it was a college film project. This death was hilarious, though. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> also, I hate how every time someone tries to escape, they run back inside the motel or in some other building. You're not in the middle of nowhere. There are businesses all around. Go run to these open businesses and get help. God. There's also another inn down the street. Why did they choose to stay here? They even show it in the movie. Like, yeah. Stay in a creepy motel if you don't want to. That one was only 23 minutes. Let's watch the 1 hour and 35 minute one, which came out in 2019. So, let's see if they improved. Rent. <sighs> now, instead of it being a college film project, it looked more like a movie from a film studio of a super low budget. So, that's better, I guess. The storyline was alright, but there were just some scenes that left me speechless. There was a clown dressed as a pig who cut a hole in a piece of meat, and he was doing stuff with the piece of meat. And one of the girl characters thought it would be a smart idea to fight the clowns with a dildo. I don't feel like showing any scenes from that movie, you gotta watch it for yourself. Oh yeah, there was a scene where the editor thought it would be a good idea to flash a bunch of colors for a long time and possibly give someone a seizure, so there's that. Things that bothered me with both movies were the camera work, it was kind of shaking too much, and the special effects can use some work. And maybe the characters can become a little bit smarter. But one thing to take away from those movies is that it did enhance my stay here. And that's the take on the movies from a guy who never reviewed movies before. Let's go for a little nightly stroll. This office isn't 24-7. I can see why. I wouldn't want to spend all night in there either. Oh boy. Okay, I'm in the cemetery at night. I had enough. Okay. Bye. No, I'm not scared. It's all about the respect. One more time, one more time. <sighs> Thanks for the content. Get well soon. Glad to be back here. 3 a.m. Witching hour. Let the challenges begin. Oh, the ghost is here. Packing early so I can get out of here tomorrow as soon as possible. Good night, whatever you are. Good night, whatever the hell is going on here. And good night, Pennywise from It. I'm gonna be surprised if I'm not murdered by clowns tonight. I read an article where some guy said he woke up in the middle of the night and saw a clown in the middle of his room. Awesome, that's a good thought to have. Good night. What a non-stressful sleep at all. Morning, honey. How the hell does hair go like this? It looks like there's 20 minutes left on the card. I want to get out before it runs out of storage. Oh, hello. Okay, packed up everything. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Goodbye, room 108. Wow, what a perfect vehicle to come to Clown Motel in. Hi. Okay. Ready for a checkout. Of course the owner told me that I was staying in one of the most haunted rooms of the hotel as I was leaving. I'm glad that was confirmed. I wonder if anything showed up on the 24 hour camera I set up. But yeah, shout out to the owner. He was really nice and this was an interesting stay. If you want to come here, it'll be an interesting experience. It wasn't that scary for me and nothing happened to me, but I can't promise the same for you. If you're in this area, I would at least give this place a quick visit. Alien stock, the Area 51 storm, Clown Motel. This has certainly been an interesting few days. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.